Right, okay. should I start by saying hello everybody? Uh, I'm Pete, I'm the promoter from Blag Promotions, and basically friends of the guys really. Uh, and we've got uh, Buddy Escott, we've been playing the drums. We've got Dave Bailey, we've been playing the guitar and singing. And we've got John Ronson, who will be playing guitar and singing. And on the bass guitar, we've got Ben. Um, the gig will be held on the 20th of July at the Faria Bird. It's the second memorial uh, in memory of Mick Bailey, who passed away a few years ago, uh, Dave's brother, and former bass player in a couple of his bands, Five O'Clock High and Vox Pop. And this gig will be celebrating his life um, and the songs. Uh, yeah, we've got the Moots supporting. Um, we've got a DJ set from Mabs. There'll be a great raffle to win some fantastic prizes of a mod type variety. Um, £10 in advance, £12 on the door, starts at 7.30, Firebird Woking, Woking's newest venue. Yep, that's, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, 20 pounds awesome. to get out. And very importantly, it's the it's going to be raising money and awareness for two fantastic charities, Action for Pulmonary Fibrosis and the MS Society. Um, both those are too close to the, uh, the band's heart. Um, that's it from me, I think, for now. Um, right. We've got 10 minutes, I've just been told, because I'm too tight to pay for the uh, professional Zoom. So... Let's let's rattle through this. <laughs> Buddy's channeling his uh, Marty Fry today, I see, with this <laughs> nice little quiff. Uh, so, uh, first of all, thank Buddy. Buddy, what were your um, recollections of the last gig we did, the first uh, charity gig we did for this course? What were my thoughts on it? Yeah. I thought it was uh, the most fun gig I've done in the last five years. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I thought it was... Um, Slightly under rehearsed, but that I think we were very tight actually from what I've seen of the video. Yeah, uh, could have done with a bit more interaction from the crowd and a bit bigger crowd, but it was a very hot day in there. But it, yeah. I thought it was great. Okay, good stuff. What about you guys? Yeah, well, my overriding memories were the heat. Yeah, I mean, we did mm -hmm. have half of the audience outside because it was too hot to be inside. Um, but yeah, I mean, it came together really quickly. Uh, I think Buddy was quite surprised at the first rehearsal that Ben and I were sort of on it and we knew what we were doing. Um, I think he was coming along maybe with the thought that, oh, what have I got into here? And I remember him sort of saying, this is good. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we had, we had a great time. Um, like I say, we could have had more rehearsals. Um, but uh, on the night, everything went really well. Even our completely impromptu um, encore that uh, we'd never played as a as a group of us together, and Ben had never played. But so wow. I'm shouting the chords at Ben as we're doing the song. Uh, wow! So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, we had one of the really... chords playing with us as well, didn't we that night? So <laughs> we did indeed. We took, yeah. <laughs> And um, yes, so that's my memories of it. I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, really looking forward to this one. So what, what yeah, about yeah, you? Much the same, like, yeah, it was nice to have something come together so quickly and we were all on it within like the end of the first rehearsal. It was quite good. Knew it was going to go down well. And yeah, yeah, it's always great. And then Dave joined like. and it was awful. <laughs> 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 I've got to say, the other thing that surprised me when Pete first roped me in, no, I mean, uh, asked me, invited me, I, I had no idea how good the songs are. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah that's I, I of you, yeah. so it was a bit difficult to say no, wasn't it? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, yeah, okay. The songs, yeah. Look, 1983, this is from, I found in my cupboard, the original mix to Drowning are in there. Wow. Oh, this wow. Is, this is 40 odd years old. The uh, new uh, Mods About Town thing when we played the Woman Gate in Kentish Town. There's the original poster from when we supported the Primitives at the Bull and Gate in Kentish Town, 1986, I think. Um, there's all sorts of stuff in there. So I found this. So I was going to do like a kind of thing. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, so 
one of the things I thought was great about the gig was the fact that I got to see people that I hadn't seen for like 30 years and maybe, you know, sometimes even, even longer. And also just to play with John again, you know, because um, I just wanted to see if he'd got any better and he hasn't. So, um, so we'll try again this year, John. Okay. <laughs> But it's brilliant, wasn't it? I mean, you know, we had two generations of the same family. Um, when I was like sitting in my little bedroom playing my Sunday morning playlist, I never imagined that I'd play a gig with the drummer of one of the people whose records I was playing on, like that, you know, my Sunday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a fun Big dreams do come true. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so that was cool. That was great. And this next one, well, do you think possibly should point out is that the last gig we raised nearly a grand you know like a thousand pounds for for charity which was you know beyond what i was expecting way beyond what i was expecting so here's a message to you people out there is let's let's top it let's see if we can get more than that this time like pete said earlier we've got another brilliant band the moot uh who buddy knows right i think you're you're yeah you're mark and the boys yeah yeah we've got the, brilliant the album moot. Out. not not the moot the and then moot. you have to say the e moot Two E's. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, know, you can look on um, Man Camp to get that. But brilliant band. Man to do a brilliant DJ set as well. He's, I listened to his show the other day and it was just a brilliant variety of great music. Uh, so, his message to people out there get down and buy the tickets and come along. See us again. Shall I tell you what's in the raffle? Because we've got great prizes, haven't we? Go on then, Pete. Um, right. The. Um... The local record shop in Woking, Digging Records, have kindly donated Paul Weller's Fat Pop Super Deluxe box set vinyl. That's three LPs, all brand new. Uh, Rick Butler has donated some customised drumsticks and some signed posters. Um, from the Jam, uh, Bruce Foxton, two complimentary tickets, apart from festivals. Okay, that's important. <laughs> Only on their tours and stuff. Uh, and we've also got the In the Crowd um the Jan Snapped anniversary, 40th anniversary book from Derek D'Souza, signed by Weller, and also signed by um, Derek as well. And I've just found a spare copy of Vox Pop's Core Blimey single. Uh, we'll put that in the raffle. Um, Someone sent it back to you in the post from last time. <laughs> uh, there's other bits and pieces as well. Um, still, things are still being finalised, as they say on that. Right. So, um, so, Buddy raised his hand, so, so he wants to have a, a let, let's just see what Buddy wanted to say about that. Did you raise your hand for me? Me, me, oh, Do you need oh, to go to the toilet? I want, I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> oh, I see. That. I haven't even got one. So. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll win it and give it to you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give it back to Pete for next year after that. That's great. <laughs> right, another one. Well, it's been two okay. years since the last one. So, yep. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. So, listen. Um, the venue's changed this year. We're not Woking Football Club. We're at the Fiery Bird, which is the community arts centre at Woking. So that should be that should be interesting. So, you know, it'll be different. Yeah, it's... Be hot. We're doing it a month earlier, so it shouldn't be quite so hot. And yeah, that's the Philip Bryson. Quite... We'll have a Labour government as well. And uh, we'll have brought home the Euro... Euro <laughs> are you predicting the future? Well, aren't we? but... You're predicting the future there, are you? Yeah, I mean, it's... Quite... Well, you can't predict the past. <laughs> Fine <laughs> science, a wonderful thing. Well, that's what they used to think. Yeah. Um, I haven't been to the Fiery Bird myself. I, I don't know what it's like. I know Pete's been there a few times. Actually, the night I was supposed to go there, I wasn't feeling that great, and that, so I didn't go along. And it turned out I had COVID, so it was a good thing I didn't go along, really. Um, but like? no, I, I get down and check that out. So, um, yeah. but what is the venue like, Pete? Oh, it's great. It's a Proper, you know, in-house PA lights. I mean, I mean, the last time at the football club, we used my PA, borrowed some lights, blah de blah, and it was a bit hot, wasn't it? Setting that up. Um, it was. It was. Uh, yeah. It was hard work logistically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but so there's less logistics than getting the gig actually on the road. But what we need now is people buying tickets. So yeah. uh, do, doing a Bob Geldof thing here. I won't. I won't swear. It gives you oh, money. God. So, uh, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, please come on down. There'll be a collection of um, bucket type thing on the night as well. So, bring change, don't try and pay with your cars because that won't work. Uh, good old fashioned 
pound coins, please, or, or notes even, if you're being really generous, to go in the bucket. It's all for a fantastic cause for both those charities. Um, yeah, I'm waffling now, so somebody else say something. Um, yeah, the only other thing really uh, is to say to people, please come along. Um, yeah. The main reason being that this is a one-off. This is not going to be on Netflix. You're not going to be able to go back and watch this on the iPlayer. Um, it's well worth coming out. Um, we are a bunch of good guys. We're going to do our best for you, and we'd love to see you all there. Thank you, John, for those heartfelt words. Um, so, yeah, anything else? Oh, the other thing we forgot to mention was we are doing a warm-up show, an acoustic show, at the oh, yes. uh, HMV store in Woking on the Thursday before that gig. What's that, Thursday the 18th or 19th? Uh, 18th, yeah, the right? 18th. <clears throat> So, 18th, yeah. anyway. so, so uh, yeah, that'll be uh, interesting, won't it? 